Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the table with the filter. So here in example, I have a table which is back on status detail. And here I have a filter which is for the vehicle status. So here you can see the different column with the vehicle number, vehicle type, status, health rate, alert type and life review. So here I am just filtering the status column and uh, once we select this like here it is all so all will get appear and while I select available it will filter the available data so whichever row is having available it will get filter so it will appear here and remaining will get hidden so same way if it is end root so end root will get filter and if it is out of service then out of service will get filter so now if i click on all so all row will get appear so first we have to uh, figure out the filter data like here I have the end root available out of service or if I am going to create a filter for the alert type then all good attention and critical so this three data is there where we can filter the table so uh, this is just an example of the five uh, rows if there are like a multiple rows more than 20 100 and all so you can create the filter according to this data and you can make your table dynamic so let's start how we can create this filter component for the table so here uh, this is a drop down and this drop down is having the two state which is close and open if i open this you can see the menu item you can type here all available whatever is uh, options are there like alert type you can type uh, all and then all good attention and the critical so this is uh, about the drop down and while I'm getting selected this like uh, if I click on available available will get appear here so this is just a variable which I have created here like drop down header select vehicle status and this variable is passed here or you can say attached here and whenever we are going to give the interaction we can say uh, on click this is all and set variable as a available and root and out of service so we'll see that uh, let's move to the component which is created here with the two state which is having the close and here which is open so this is uh, auto layout you can increase the number of uh, column or uh, number of items here menu item so here uh, this is just a simple interaction simple component for drop down so how the filter is working it is available here so for creating the filter we need a boolean variable so here in local variable you can see uh, I have created three boolean variable which is end root available out of service and all three are true and uh, this is for the drop down header now next what we need to do next is this row so this row is having end root will attach the value in appearance end root here you can see 
so once we attach this end root it will start taking the values from the local variable and the interaction will impact on the row the same way this is also attached with the end root available out of service and out of service so the step one we need to create the local variable which is boolean end root available and out of service next just create a simple drop down and now the part of the interaction so if i select this all come to prototype and here the interaction is given so if you click here you can see the interaction which is start with the drop down header so this is the just set variable and i have selected the variable drop down header and the value is all next all so once it is all means all boolean variable will get true means all rows will get appear if i go to the available here you can see only available is true and remaining is false so it means the variable which i have attached with the row here like this is available which is true on click interaction is given so only available will be true remaining boolean value will it falls which is attached with this row so suppose now if i detach this which is the end root and uh, this the so one end root row is detached how it will behave so i am selecting here end root so this two end root is appearing and available till then end root is appearing because i didn't make this false or i have not uh, attached the value so this is important to pass or attach the value in appearance how we'll do that here you can see while you right click on this i appearance select the end root so it will get attached and whenever uh, we'll use this available so it will only appear the available only appear end root out of service and if i click on all all will get appear so this is very simple trick if you look at the step by step so first step will be creating the variable so creating the local variable here is the first step for the filter here like i have end root available in out of service and after that will give the interaction so here in drop down the interaction just we need to make it true and false so after passing or attaching the values of boolean it will get interacted from here so here this is true this is true this is true so end root is true available is true and out of service is true so each row will get appear if it is available and we are clicking on the available option then only available will get true and remaining all boolean value will get false out of service and end root so this is the uh, simplest method i think you will like this 
and you will use this trick to make your table with the filter option and this is a ready to use component you can use this just need to make this a data so you can here change the name like uh, this is also you can change whatever data is available in your table and the interaction is given already so it will work for any of the table so how is the trick please write on the comment and this file is uploaded in figma community you can use freely for today thank you thank you very much